Hey, it's Ben from Shane's Trees. There are so many reasons why people need their trees to be removed, but it's not always easy to get approval from council. Today I'll give you five tips on how to get approval to remove your trees on your property in the Sutherland Shire. One, council have a list that contains 31 species, 44 weeds and 19 noxious weeds that are exempt, meaning you don't need approval to prune or cut them down. Two, the trees below size. A tree is generally exempt if it is less than 100 millimetres at 500 millimetres above ground level. Three, dead trees. Council allows removal of young dead trees up to 300 millimetres in diameter, given they do not contain hollows and have not been poisoned. It is important to make sure that the tree is actually dead and is not just deciduous, meaning it drops its leaves in winter. Number four, the 1050 bushfire clearing entitlement rule. Now this is a very great rule and legislation that was brought in for a devastating reason. Following the 2013 bushfires where over 200 properties were destroyed, state government had to find a way to act to protect properties, to protect homeowners that were near the bush. Now, if you're in one of these designated zones and you check the online tool, you can remove any tree within 10 metres of your house, even trees within 10 metres of your neighbour's house, should you have their approval. It is vital to check the RFS online tool to see that the specific property is within a designated 1050 clearing entitlement area. Generally, any tree within 10 metres of a dwelling can be pruned or removed without council approval. If a tree is not within 10 metres of a dwelling, but is on your property and is within 10 metres of your neighbour's dwelling, it can be removed given their approval and they are in the 1050 zone. Trees and shrubs up to 300 millimetres within 50 metres of a dwelling are also included. A few watch points for 1050 legislation. You need to make sure the tree is included in the RFS online tool. You need to make sure the tree is not protected by a DA, stop work order or land and environment court order. The tree is not on a slope greater than 18 degrees. We've got to make sure we've got permission of the owner. Special rules apply around waterways. Number five, storm damage and imminent danger. If a tree presents an imminent danger to life or property as assessed by a qualified arborist, it can be removed without council approval. Let us know in the comments below if these tips have been helpful for you. If that's the case, like the video, let us know you want more content like this. I'll see you next time for another video about why the council could deny your request for tree removal. Have a great day.